How do we keep the academic conversation alive in a time of COVID-19? How do we as academics replace the physical workshops that we so truly love and actually need to do our jobs? Right now, the only option are virtual conferences and workshops. Here we will share some experience from a recent workshop. We did nine hours of Zoom. How did we do that? How did it end up? It's not the same as the physical workshop, but some instances are actually better. Organizing a virtual conference has both advantages and challenges. Among the advantages, we see time savings, cost savings, and also that it's environmentally friendly. Among the challenges, the concept is new for users, we have a lot of technical uncertainty, and also that there is limited knowledge on how to execute a virtual conference. Designing the conference was all about core and supporting elements. We used traditional elements like invited speakers and panel discussions, and then we came up with some new ideas. For example, flip paper sessions. Participants were able to give feedback through the chat function, as well as through breakout room discussions with the author. We then also had idea proposal sessions in which authors pitched their paper ideas to a jury of researchers who were giving constructive feedback and challenging questions to think about, like in venture capital pitches. We then also had idea generation sessions. Groups of three to four people were sitting together in four rounds and coming up with new paper ideas. We then also used throughout the day the poll function where we collected information and views from the conference participants that were then used in panel discussions to critically reflect on the future of this conference. What impressed me the most was that um, all the participants were willing to basically move quite fluidly from the usual in-person interaction to this kind of digital format. And a key element in that was the communication beforehand. It turned out super good. So it fulfills all the normal purpose that we would expect when we have the normal conference. I think it's definitely one thing to keep the idea generating sessions, the round tables. This workshop may be the future. Not only does it have less impact on the environment, we can also organize it more often to truly build a sports community. These are some of the lessons we learned in organizing this event. First, maximize inclusivity and participation. For example, we allocated as many roles as possible to participants in order to increase ownership of the event. Two, manage the rhythm to boost energy and motivation that men kept the sessions short and alternating between traditional and new elements. Third, invest in pre-workshop planning and preparation. This is where the strength of an organizing team shows up. You need to plan at the same time for both front stage and backstage activities because they coexist in an event like this. And four, facilitate social interaction. We cannot replicate what happened at a physical conference, but we can provide alternative for social interaction such as research blind dates during idea generation sessions and wrap the day with a virtual aperitivo. If I may, you stepped up to the plate and you swung for the fences um, and uh, you hit it off the park.